Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to take a closer look at one of your favorite semiconductor companies. Don't lie. I know it's Intel. We can see the stock right now is up about 1% on today. There have been a few updates that we can kind of discuss in today's episode. More importantly, it has to deal with the recent um, consumer technology trade show that happened, CES, where Intel has announced a few products that I believe investors should keep a closer eye on. So I'm just going to share my overall thoughts. So let's get started. I do want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. And make sure to check out fool.com slash Jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So we can see Intel, like I mentioned, is up about 1% when compared to its peers, AMD. AMD is actually down 1% and even Nvidia is down roughly 2% on today's episode. So Intel did have a few updates today during that CES event that I mentioned. And more importantly, I just want to remind investors that the current products that they released today, they're mainly for the consumer base. And unfortunately, right, the consumer market has seen a huge, huge hit in the past few quarters. We can see their client computing group was down 17% year over year. Their overall operating income margins were down a nice amount. Main reason, the PC demand is softening primarily in consumer and education, as well as OEM inventory reductions. So right now, there's just too much inventory out right now and with the fear of consumer spending decreasing. A lot of these OEM companies are reducing their inventory and trying to sell out before purchasing new products, right? So this is what's really affecting the consumer market. But at the end of the day, companies like Intel need to continue to innovate, right? They Even though it might not be the best market, they still have to deliver new products because if not, they'll be left behind by their competitors. The thing um, normally what these companies end up doing is they probably end up reducing the inventory of how much they make um, or, or how much inventory buildup they try to have just because the uncertainty with the current market. So if we take a closer look on January uh, on January 3rd of 2023, Intel released their 13th generation processor. You might be like, Jose, they released this previously. Yes, but this is mainly for the mobile market. So for the laptop world, they released a few uh, a few kind of segments here or processors for here. They did mention that they developed the first 24 core processor for a laptop and the world's fastest mobile processor as well, the 139080 HX. I do want to say I'm, I do believe this generation of GPUs and GPUs is amazing, the amount of generation leap, where I don't think I purchased the laptop last year um, with the current generation products, but I do believe this year I am going to purchase a product with the around the with the kind of technology improvements we have been seeing. Intel also introduced the complete lineup of their 13th generation Intel Core desktop processors. So for those not familiar, Intel did already release this 13th generation known as Raptor Lake but they only kind of released maybe some of the higher tier products at first. Now they have the complete lineup. I do believe we are going to see competitors like AMD do the same thing, where when you first start off, you release maybe some of the higher tier products, higher tier um, specs. And then as time progresses, you start kind of giving out or, or selling the remaining products, which might be in the more power efficiency and more cost efficiency product. So pretty interesting here. Uh, I do want to say it does uh, in CES, we did see a lot more laptops, but I don't believe we're going to get any of these laptops this quarter. Most of them seem for like quarter two or quarter three. I believe what's happening is a lot of these co companies that develop laptops, they're waiting an extra quarter or so to kind of just deal with inventory correction before kind of starting and putting out new products. So it, I, I do believe in the short term, we might still see some pain for companies like Intel, especially in the consumer world, as there's still an ongoing inventory correction. But at least in the second half of this year or, may, or, or late first half of this year, I do believe the consumer market to some extent might start to pick up at least for this kind of side in forms of, of CPU processors for Intel and AMD. So I want to say I don't think anything here is going to overall move the stock price. It just shows that this company continues to innovate. Even though I'm not an Intel shareholder, I have to give props and it does seem like they are developing and kind of innovating in their new processors, which are going in the right direction. For me, I'm still 100% an AMD bull, but I wouldn't put Intel out the race at the moment. Also, if you are enjoying the episode, make sure to hit the thumbs up as it does help me grow my overall audience. If you want to support a little bit more, make sure to subscribe using my link at fool.com slash Jose. 
finally, if you are here, it means you're a semiconductor investor and I have a weekly semiconductor podcast with another host. Make sure to check that out. The link is down below or you can probably click the link above as well. So I, I do want to say the only thing if I was an Intel investor, what I would really, really be excited about would be this January 10th event where Intel is going to kind of announce or host uh, more of their data center solutions. They're going to talk a little bit about their CPUs here in the data center market and also their GPU uh, products here in the data center market. Unfortunately for Intel, the data center market has also been pretty, pretty rough. Unfortunately here, it's mainly due to, I want to say the competition that they're seeing here, right? So obviously we can see revenue down 27%. Their operating income is pretty much zero uh, now for this segment, which is supposed to be a high, high margin segment. I don't think that's going to shift overnight, but I do believe these new products that they are releasing can kind of help out in the overall spin around for, for Intel. So if I was an investor, that's going to be the event I'm most likely going to be focused on and that is on january 10th on january 12th they are going to speak a little bit more about the pc and the total addressable market and part of their roadmap i'm also going to be curious about that like i mentioned i'm not an intel investor but i'd like to keep up to date with the company so the ces events even though i, I want to say the consumer market used to be big i do believe in the short term of things it might still be weak where i don't see too much movements from from products like this at the moment but in the long term of things, I do believe it's bullish as it kind of shows the overall technological trend that these companies are doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care. Have a good day and see you next time.